Hello, how are you doing? And welcome back to the channel. So who should be the next Springboks head coach? This comes after the news that Jacques Nienaber will step away from the role following the World Cup and join Leinster. So who should be the next man to take charge of the Springboks? That's what I'm talking about in this video. Going to run through three or four of the candidates that I think are probably towards the top of the list, but make sure you drop a comment down below. Let me know who you think should take over as head coach of the Springboks, because that will be a fascinating appointment. Remember also to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well if you are able to. But all right, let's get into it. First things first, I would be surprised if this wasn't a South African that is appointed to replace an Ian Arbor. I know often the conversation around national coaching jobs comes, should it be someone from that nation or should they look outside of that? It's often a tussle we see being had England had it before appointing Eddie Jones as the first foreign coach to come in and obviously for the first four years of that did a brilliant job. But South Africa, I think, are a nation who will back the coaching within their own system and someone who gets the culture of South African rugby. So personally, I would be pretty surprised if it wasn't a South African. But do let me know if you think I'm wrong there, particularly the Springbok fans. Maybe it is time for South Africa to, to look outside of their own borders. But as I say, I think it will be South African. So the four options that I'm running through in this video are all South African. First of all, I think you have to look at the setup already. And it's very easy when this happens to start looking outside of the setup. But remember, Nianaba has been there with assistant coaches already who know this group of players, who know the Springbok way, who know the responsibilities that come with being involved in the coaching setup of a team who are as fervently followed, as passionately followed as the South Africans. So Zwandile Stick, first of all, I'll get on to Dion Davids in a minute, but Stick, obviously a guy with a kind of sevens background. He took charge of the under 21s, I think with great success at one point in time as well and has been in that system now for quite a long, long time. And the other reason that I think he should absolutely be considered is those assistant coaches are often charged with media responsibilities with the Springboks. There are a number of occasions for Dion Davids and Zwandile Stick where they have to do the press conference before the game or midweek during game week. So they're kind of used to that being in the eye of the storm, if you like. And I always think with these jobs, that is a big, big part of them. Whereas sometimes when you get people coming in from club rugby to all of a sudden take charge of the national team, getting accustomed to the level of scrutiny and the level of media attention is often you know, a pretty huge part of the job, which some people aren't ready for. But I think the fact that Stick has already been part of that, he's already had the responsibility of dealing with those media duties. Maybe it's a relatively small point. It's not just because of that, that someone should necessarily get a job. But I think it's a plus point in his column, if you like. If you're looking at positives and weaknesses, I think that's a definite positive that he's accustomed to that sort of thing. So as I say, he's in that system already. He's been part of a successful system. And surely they need to consider those assistant coaches. I would imagine the South African Rugby Union will be looking at them in quite some detail. And Dion Davids is another one. He's obviously been the forward coach of the Springboks. So has been a major cog in the wheel of what has just been... I mean, it's a huge part of South African rugby anyway, isn't it? In terms of the forward pack and the responsibility and the physicality that they bring to the game. I know they have lots of other elements. I'm not saying they're a one-trick pony at all, but the fact that he has been you know, a key mind but behind that part of the game for South Africa, it would make sense in a lot of ways for him to be someone to take up the reins. I guess the question with both of those guys, with both the assistant coaches, is do they have the gravitas? Do they have... Do they have what it takes to go from being an assistant to all of a sudden being that main guy and the responsibility falling on your shoulders? I think they're both popular within that group. I don't think the players would have an issue with it, but I guess you have to hold yourself differently, don't you? If you are having to step up and take the reins and be the head guy, I think it's fascinating to see if they go in that direction. But I certainly think in terms of the fact that they're part of a coaching setup who've been so successful with the World Cup, with the Lions Tour, it would make sense for them to be candidates for this role. So those are the assistant coaches. I wanna throw two names out there in terms of guys that could come from, from outside. The most obvious one to me, 
And the person that I'm probably leaning towards to be the head coach is John Dobson, who's been head coach, director of rugby, whatever you want to call it, of the Stormers, who won the URC title last year. I think over the last few years in terms of the South African uh, provincial sides or the, the domestic sides in South Africa, they've been the most impressive. I think the way in which they drove themselves towards that Super Rugby title last year, I thought was massively, uh, not Super Rugby, sorry, that URC title last year was massively impressive. I like what John Dobson's about. I like the way he holds himself in interviews and when he's spoken about the game. I think he's a, an intelligent guy. I've said on this channel before, I've been a big fan of his Stormers side. So I really like the idea of John Dobson, the fact that he's been so successful with one of the South African franchise sides. He can come in, I think he has the sort of weight of a big name of someone who can immediately deal with the pressure and the responsibility on his shoulders of being the Springboks head coach. So John Dobson, to me, makes a huge amount of sense. And I would have thought he surely is gonna be massively considered for this job. I would imagine. The final name that I wanted to chuck in there is Johan Ackerman, who we haven't really seen coaching a, a huge amount recently. You can correct me if I'm wrong there. The last time I saw him was when he was at Gloucester um, and did a really good job at Gloucester without necessarily quite being able to establish them as a regular kind of top four side in the Gallagher Premiership, but got them playing some really, really good stuff and then moved away from the club. I think there was some maybe some tension behind the scenes or within the dressing room not being too happy. Um, but I was impressed with Johan Ackerman. I think the fact that he's come overseas as well and he's got that coaching experience and kind of seen how things work in the Northern Hemisphere, I think is always a positive thing in terms of a coach who has varied experiences to be able to bring back to the national team. So I quite like that dynamic as well. So Johan Ackerman, I may be putting him as a bit of an outside shout, but maybe you could have a John Dobson. Ackerman comes in there, takes care of the forwards, maybe you rebuild that coaching setup, or do you stick with an element of continuity and you go for one of the two guys who have been an assistant coach to the Springboks already? I think it's a really interesting conversation. Let me know what you think down below. As always, in particular, Springbok fans, I mean, what do you want to see happen? Who do you want to see be the head coach amongst all this? I'm kind of presuming that Razi Erasmus is going to stick around as the director of rugby, if you like, in the system. So I guess it's the guys below that. Do you want to see someone who's been an assistant step up and take the reins? Someone else come in? Maybe start anew. I think one of the most important things in this sort of situation is whoever is the head coach are able to select their own assistants and have a coaching setup that they're fully happy with. So maybe it means that we start fresh after the World Cup, new slate, move forward with completely new voices, fresh ideas in that system. It's gonna be really interesting to see which way South Africa go with this. As I say, I'm leaning towards John Dobson. That's kind of my gut instinct at this moment in time, but drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. Like the video, subscribe to the channel as well. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Next one.